Aloha everybody, Kaiwaza with you. Um, welcome back to <clears throat> my channel. And uh, yeah, yet another haul video. I mean, this is kind of a smallish haul and an unexpected haul. Uh, let me explain what happened just over the past few days. Uh, I do go thrift store shopping a lot because I love it. Uh, and I went, let me see, I went to a Savers and I went to a Salvation Army. Um, those two places normally have some records and I did get a few things there. And then this little voice was talking to me in my ear, little voice, you know, that said, you know, you should go to this certain Goodwill that I don't go to that often because they don't really have records. They hardly ever have records, although I do look for other things there. Um, I hadn't been in quite a while and this little voice was just saying, you should go there today. So. Uh, I did go there and uh, lo and behold, after my rather long uh, trip on the public conveyance from where I had started out to get there, um, there were a ton of easy listening records and they usually don't have any and there were a ton of them. So I didn't get everything but I got quite a few. Uh, so I have a smallish haul to show you right now. Actually, I'm on my way to the beach. It's very hot today, and I know it's been very hot everywhere. Global warming or whatever, right? And uh, so I'm on my way to the beach. Uh, I'm not going to stay at the beach because it's super hot, but one of the things I love about the ocean here in Hawaii, unlike some of the places I've lived before, been before, like on the Gulf Coast, or on the Atlantic side when you're by the Gulf Stream is that the water gets so warm in the summer and some people love it and the water is like 85 degrees and I don't like it. Um, I love here where it gets warm but the water is much cooler than the air so the ocean here is like I mean for example today I think it's like 88 89 degrees or so probably maybe even hotter and uh, the water is going to be about like 75 so I love when you go into the water and it actually cools you off and you're cool the whole time you're in there and I love that some people are shocked by that they think when they come to Hawaii you know it's the Pacific and they think it's going to be warm the water but the water is quite cool and I, I love that it's very refreshing so uh, I'm going to go to the beach and just go in the water for a while and cool off. It may be Reed. I don't know if I can find a shady spot, which I usually can. I might stay and read in the shade for a while. But while I'm doing that, I will also show you the records that I got because I'm, I'm, I'm non-binary. No, that's not the right term. What? <laughs> I can be two places at one time. Anyway. I'm going into the ocean and I'll show you the records and we'll meet up in a few minutes. So I'm sure uh, a lot of the records came from one person's collection, it must have been, because there were quite a few brass albums. I didn't get everything but I got some that I thought would work for uh, moody mood music. Very happy to find this one on Medallion Gatefold record, The Sound of Top Brass by Peter London Orchestra. And not only did they have volume one, they had volume two. How about that? Uh, also, very nice gatefold. On uh, command records, big noise from Winnetka, Bob Haggart and his orchestra. In Soundorama. And we move into uh, some more orchestral stuff. Hollywood Bowl Symphony Orchestra, Italian music here. Better than one piano, two pianos.
Now, I have to confess, I'd never heard of the Broadway musical High Button Shoes. I have no idea. Only thing I know from reading the notes is it opened in 1947. So I had to get this one out just to check it out and see. The name I was familiar with, well, Phil Sil Silvers I've heard of, but uh, was Annette, Nanette Fabre. I know her from like the 1970s when I was a kid and she was on a bunch of uh, game shows off and on. You remember her? Get away, get away, get away for a day in the country. Find a spot near a shady lagoon. Nature's waiting around to commune. By the way, by the way. Sammy Davis, Sammy's back on Broadway. Again, uh, some of these songs I wasn't familiar with, so curious to uh, hear this one. A couple of Al Caiola and his orchestra records, Gatefold, Percussion Espanol. Andre Castellane is in his orchestra, the unsinkable Molly Brown. Haven't seen this one before either. <laughs> This Doc Severinsen uh, record's in beautiful condition. Command Gatefold, the great arrival, looking very spiffy and young there. And now the last one is the one I was most excited to find. And I'm sure you'll be like, why were you excited to find this thing? But it's a Viking budget label, Viking Records, very budgety label. The Viking Pops Orchestra, Women of the World in their Top 100 series. Now, why am I excited to find this? Because uh, Women of the World was a kind of a documentary fake documentary really that came out after the popularity of Mondo Kane or Wild World or whatever it translates to and uh, there were a bunch of other kind of imitation films that came out after that this was one of them women of the world purported to you know show all these women in different parts of the world and what their lives were like and some of it was real and some of it was just kind of exploitation sort of stuff and uh, in true budget label fashion, of course, you just look at this and think it's the soundtrack to Women of the World, but it isn't. Um, and they even say in mean, the credits there, but... And the back doesn't tell you what the record is at all, so you would buy it thinking, oh, I've got the soundtrack to Women of the World by the Viking Pops Orchestra. And not until you play it, and maybe you never would realize it, maybe you'd think all the time you have the soundtrack, but it isn't. It's the theme song and then um, a bunch of songs that are just orchestral selections that have nothing to do with the film. And um, I can't explain why exactly I love these records so much, but I do. These are the kind of records I actually get out on my turntable and play every so often just because they just charm me. I don't know. Anyway, so, yeah, Women of the World. Well, that was my little quick haul. So, uh... I remind you if you want to hear selections from these or any other albums that you can uh, check out my free online radio station. Uh, if you're living in the US, UK and Canada, uh, you can listen to it. It's called Moody Mood Music on live365.com. It will be linked in the description below. Uh, and subscribe if you want to see uh, more videos. I do easy listening records, Hawaiian records, and candle scented candle stuff so i all uh, 30 people that i know are interested in watching that thank you 30 people and uh, <laughs> i hope you have a good day and we will see you on the next video okay take care